the line goes Dave Molyneux then. Number one, this is exactly what happened on Saturday evening's race. It was a little bit cooler, a little bit greyer and a little bit damper. We didn't see the lap records happen, but the pace was there. Molly was the class of the field heading through towards Glenvine. Up in front, Dave Molyneux already past Greber Castle and heading on towards Greber Bridge. Throttle absolutely pinned here. Idea of the pace Molly has established. Looking down on Steve Norbury and Andy Smith, they're behind on the road, but they're ahead of the number two outfit on corrected time. They're in second place and uh, it's very close already. Molly by eight seconds from Norbury Smith. Molly goes round Ramsey Hairpin in what looks like being record breaking time. It's all happening so quickly here. Here's the man going up the mountain. The late arrivals turning up are coming in to the frame. Simon Neary was fifth on Saturday and he's fifth at Glen Helen. Number 24, fifth at Glen Helen at the moment. And Dave Molyneux, doesn't matter who you look at behind him, they're all behind him. He's running away with it again, absolutely decimating the opposition. Through signpost he goes. Molly ends the opening lap. Now, will this be the lap record he wanted? He's 37 miles into it. We're just waiting for the three quarters to go past. He goes over the start finish line. Now the clock stopped and it says 19 minutes and 44 seconds. A new lap record. Dave Molyneux, Dan Sale, 114 miles an hour. So they've still got the 115 mile an hour barrier to break, but they're well under the 20 minute lap. 19 minutes and 44 seconds through Union Mills to start the second lap. We're looking down now on Nicky Crow and Darren Hope at the laugh. 33 seconds behind at the start finish line. They were 39 seconds behind at Glen Helen. That's a second a mile Molly's gaining. And they were 45 seconds down at Bluff. So Molly absolutely flying round this second lap. Here is the number two outfit coming down the hill then. Nick Crow, he was in second place at Ramsey. 50 seconds behind Molly at the bungalow. The gap had grown to 57. And now at Cronk Nimona, it's over a minute. And here's Molly, end of lap two, over the line. Lap one was 19 minutes, 44 seconds. Lap two, 19 minutes and 30 seconds. He's absolutely murdering the lap records here this afternoon. Dave Molyneux on a charge that no one can stop unless the engine lets him down again. Closing on a back marker as they come up to Quarry Bends. And will he see him uh, move aside? Well, he's on the racing line as he's every right to be. Dave Molyneux, you can see much, much quicker going from side to side, looking for an opening. And that really has actually brought his speed down. And now he's going to tuck in behind him, get another toe and pop out of the slipstream again. That's really cost him quite a lot of time. And uh, you can see Danny Sale giving the sidecar riders, passenger riders, gesture of camaraderie and friendship there. Oh, and he's stopping just in front of the start line. He's coasting to a halt. There's a problem for Molly. The flag is waving and he just creeps across the line. Well, drama indeed for Dave Molyneux. But what a close call that was. He just sneaked over the line. The chain had jumped off the cogs. He's popped it back on and riding back to the winner's enclosure. Every day is a different day, isn't it? It doesn't matter how long you keep doing it. Like, I had all my doubts this morning. I didn't think it was going to get to the finish, but um, for one reason or another, you know, just when you sat on these things with your head above the engine, you hear every single engine tone, rattling valves, everything. You just keep thinking, Jesus, this thing can't go any longer, you know. Uh, horrendous noises coming out of them, but testament to Honda and uh, the guys who build them. And a slow crawl over the line at the end. Yeah, we had a chain just jumped the sprocket on coming out of Governor's Dip. I noticed it flapping under the seat, just catching the seat, so I thought coasted in and that'll do us.